Hello everyone, it's me Samiksha Tadal, one of the trainer at Network Alliance Sigama. I have been teaching some Cisco networking courses from three years. And here today I am going to provide some information regarding the Cisco, its course, certification, scope and as well as I will try to include some basic topic of networking. First of all, we all know in our daily life we are using different internet services like Facebook, Google, uh, YouTube and making communication between the different people all around the world in a very easy way but uh, like for that we get the connection from uh, our nearby ISP internet service provider and the telecommunication so uh, let us think how this organization normally they are also organization ISP and the telecommunication make the communication or the make success to our communication we will obviously think they use some uh, technologies and they use some devices yeah obviously they use the uh, devices different networking devices and um, these devices consist of the large number of the technologies and there are the various organization or the companies that they develop the the manufacture the networking devices among them Cisco is one or the Cisco is in the leading role Cisco is a US based organization company and Cisco manufactured the networking devices but when these devices uh, like having the multiples of the other various technologies in it is used by the other is installed in the ISP and the telecommunication and the different organizations to make the communication possible between the different devices we need a skill manpower other we need a person who know that technology so for that Cisco has uh, created or the Cisco has developed the various courses from the entry level to the export level and divided into the uh, like uh, and also divided into the different branches uh, first of all if we go through the level of the courses then we will find there will be the inter level associate level professional export as well as the two more that is uh, design and then architect level course if you have the knowledge of um, basic level of computer and um, you uh, if you are going on about the IP address then it will be easier for you to move through this course but no worries you can go through this course with the any of your academic qualification uh, just the thing is that if you know the knowledge of computer then it will be easier for you to move through it so here uh, if you go through the levels of certification then um, there will be the levels like the CCNA, CCNP, CCI, CCDE and CCA two more courses CCDE and CCA architect level certification like this and each of them have or the each CCIE has different branches that is routing and switching for the security service provider collaboration uh, data center voice and so on first of all if you go through the CCE and T, then this is a very uh, beginning of this course. That is, here 
this course will deal with this course after learning this course you will be able to know the uh, basic concept of the devices or you will be able to uh, know the device its basic function and basic very basic configuration and it is also known as the entry level certification so anyone who is a fresher then can go through this certification or the, can go through this course and then after knowing the basic knowledge you can go through the CCNA level normally there will be only a CCNA level which will include the CCNA as well um, by its course but you can go through the certification of the CCNA only CCNA is also consist of the two branch of it that is one is ICND1 ICND1 and another is ICND2 that is interconnecting Cisco networking devices part 1 and interconnecting Cisco networking devices part 2 this will deal with the very basic concept of the Cisco devices and their function and this will deals with the configuration management and the operation of this uh, networking devices so in CCNA you can choose in which sector you wanna go or the in which branch uh, you will be interested and move through either routing and switching security service provider collaboration data center voice wireless or any one of them today uh, like in our classes in our further classes we are going to discuss about the uh, routing and switching course so obviously here i will discuss um, the topic related to routing and switching ccn rns ccnp rns and cci rns uh, for certification you, you have the two option in this inter level or the, in this associate level you can either give a single paper of the ccna or the you can give the two papers to be associate certified that is either ICND part 1 and then uh, ICND part 2 or the either you will give the two papers of ICND 1 ICND 2 or you can give a single paper to be a associate certified and one more thing you have uh, you should keep in mind that these all the Cisco courses is a global certification courses that means uh, global certification means it is accepted in is an every co uh, world is an every country and it is equally valid worldwide uh, so in networking it has a very huge scope if you had done the CCNA and has certified then you can work in an ISP in a telecommunication, in banks, in large organization or in any of the organization managing and operating their networks uh, one of the uh, like best example will be if you ask the um, a link or if you ask, ask a connection from your nearby service provider um, then CCNA or the associate level engineer will be there to make your connection and CCNA level course will include the basic concept of basic concept and configuration of IPv4 and IPv6 addresses like some of the security of router and switches as well and various uh, description or the explanation of um, various infrastructure services and management and as, uh, and obviously the configuration basic configuration of the router and switches on our other classes we will obviously discuss about each and every topics of the ccna and after you get the ccna certification you can go through the ccnp certification where after uh, where you have to learn the advanced 
technologies and uh, after learning that you can go through the certification and if you certified then you will be the professional network professional cisco certified network professional and then you can go through the cci that is export level if you are the professional level engineer then you can manage isp manage organization networks manage a telecommunication network and then um, if you go through the cci or the export level certification then you will you will be able to manage the two or more than two companies network other two are uh, simply uh, other in a very simple way i can say you will be able to manage a whole isp network and in that way you can go through the ccd and cca if you have interested on the networking sector then so it is always recommended to uh, go through the um, base level course or always you will go through the base level course to the higher level courses one by one step by step so this, uh, these are the some very basic uh, like information regarding the levels of the certification uh, uh, level of the course you can go through it if you want to be the security or the certified security then you, you have to go through the ccn security ccnp security and then cci security and so uh, and so on so I, th I hope you understand it the next thing is that um when you proceed through the course other when you start to learn the course then there will be the different simulation uh, uh, normally the softwares where you will practice your labs um, on the daily basis obviously you will use the real devices but uh, for your daily practice for each and every hour practice you will use your simulation which is completely uh, like the um, uh, real environment and different icons will be used over there like the router will be denoted as like that in the uh, picture image like that icon wireless router secure router firewall home office switch and here are the different cables as well we will discuss it one by one and another thing okay let us go uh, through some of the very basic topic of the networking what is a network what is a networking and its connection first of all network uh, defines the just setup a proper setup where the different networking devices like different uh, computers laptops printers servers are connected together by the different network linking devices and the network linking devices may be routers, switches, cables and so on. So the network is a proper setup of a or the proper connection of the devices and the networking is when uh, after the proper setup of the devices when a file or the any of the data type is able to share between the two or more than two devices or the when these two or more than two devices start to communicate exchange their information exchange the uh, other um, exchange the masses or the masses each other then that will be a networking Another thing is the internet network. Like, uh, sorry, uh, for, uh, like in the second, we go through the types of network. Here, in the types of network, there are the various types of network. That is, if you if you are the student of the IT, then you will have learned this in a very uh, best level. But uh, here, types of network. There are the major types of network are the uh, classified into two types. That is, LAN and WAN. But among uh, like beyond that, there are the various types of uh, networks like LAN, WAN, MAN, CAN, uh, a person and networks, and so on. But here, the major can be classified into the two types. One is the LAN, local area network, and another is the wide area network. 
local area network is normally um, uh, like organization network or the office network or the network within a very limited area can be defined as the LAN network and wide area network is if you connect the two lanes or the more than that uh, two lanes then it collectively known as the wide area network here it is clearly shown in the figure an internet network means if this all the lane networks and all the wind network are, the, are collectively um, called then it is will it will be called as the internet network there will be a large number of the lanes and winds included in it and when these devices start to complicate that is simply uh, our best example will be we we'll use the google we we'll use the youtube then these are the completely uh, different uh, they are completely in different network so these are the collectively known as the internet network and when we uh, like request something on the youtube and we get it other on any of the uh, internet site then uh, that will be known as the internet talking in short form we said it internet as well in this case another is the network topology network topology is the structure of the uh, connected devices of the structure of the uh, other setup of the devices or the setup of the network how the network is set up first one is the bus network or the bus topology in bus topology it is here it is shown that here will be a two in point like two in point or single wire that will connect uh, the other devices like the computers laptop printer any of the networking devices in a linear form it has it is easy to set up but it has one of the uh, like disadvantage that is if this backbone link uh, backbone wire or the backbone link fails then all the network will be disturbed let us go through the ring uh, in this the devices are connected in a circle or the inner ring type this boss topology and ring topology is also not in the major use. Another is the star topology. This is the mostly used network topology in today's net, uh, network. In this, there will be the center. All other devices will be all, all other the end user, in ho like host, will be connected to a particular central devices that can be a half. I'll tell about the hop and switch later on or that can be a switch it is the most reliable one and here is another is the extended star topology that is just an extended form of the star topology that means if you have a large number of devices then you can uh, join the like here if this is a switch then you can join the another switch over here another and another and then you can connect the in devices over here that is pc printer whatever you have you can connect it like this then it will be the extended start topology this is for the large setup or the large number of the devices and this is for the smaller one and hierarchical is that in this there will be the major devices and it will be connected to the uh, other in the hierarchical order and another is the mesh topology that is Mesh topology in mesh topology normally a device is connected to the other remaining that means a device is connected to all other devices in this it will be or uh, it will be useful for uh, if you have if you want the connection in a very fast way and you wanna um, make your network uh, or you wanna save your network from uh, from failure then you can go through the mesh topology but here will be the very big mass domain but obviously it will provide you you a uh, best failover options i 
and another thing is that uh, like some network devices is mentioned over here um, here in above we describe about the topology types but here are the some of the network devices that is normally used or then also known as the network linking devices that will have the end user that means PC, your PC, laptops, printers to connect other to connect with the internet other to connect in a particular device first one is the NIC obviously uh, before this here will be the cables different type of networking cables uh, we will discuss this later one by one uh, but let us go through it first one is the network interface card NIC card this is um, normally you have seen a port in your uh, laptop or the uh, computer where you connect your ethernet ethernet cable and then you can access your internet so in that port or the uh, that port is normally consist of the network interface card which is a chip that has a particular uh, like it will be uh, there will be a port and here you will connect your ethernet wire and from here it will be uh, it will have a particular or the very unique address that is known as the MAC address or normally you, uh, this will be the physical address of your MAC address or the physical address of your devices so it helps you to make the connection or the, uh, to, to make the connection to the internet another is the hub <laughs> normally uh, this and uh, you have only a single NIC card in your uh, PC or the laptop in server you will get the more than that but in uh, PC or laptop you will get the only one so if you want to connect to the two or more than two device if you want to connect to the two uh, PC then there will be no problem you have the uh, one of the um, Ethernet port over here and you can connect directly to another but if you have the more than two then uh, then you what you have to do is that you have to buy the other you have to install the another NIC card and you can join to the other one directly what about if you have the like um, five or six devices to be connected then you, you can afford uh, like it will be very expensive to afford like five or six NIC card in each a single device uh, in each and every devices so to overcome that what you can do is that you can connect your uh, PC or the, your devices like here is a uh, you, you will have a device and you can set up a hub and you can connect uh, it seems to be um, like easy to connect uh, between the different devices but Hub is a known intelligent devices, known intelligent devices in such a way that because it uh, don't understand the each and every devices or they don't uh, store any information of these devices so that it could proceed the information or the proceed the message to a particular one at once. So in every time, if this A device send the message to the B device then mm, when this uh, the message of the A device comes to the hub then hub will do the broadcast broadcast means it will provide it will send that device to the all of them and here these devices would have to ignore that message and then only the uh, only that devices which uh, the request is sent will have to receive the message and in this now what will happen is that one more 
in in this the bandwidth will be or the speed will be sharing between these all the ports or between these all the ports that means if you have the bandwidth of the 8 mbps mbps then uh, each port will get the 2 mbps for each that is if you have to send the uh, message only from a to b then only uh, then the message will not send on the 8 mbps or will not upload on the 8 mbps speed because it will be divided in each of them that is bandwidth will be sent so it is it seems to be a little bit non usable or the non benefited so uh, to overcome these devices and one more thing is that you can get this hub uh, 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 having the uh, like four ports, eight ports in such a way, and you can buy it as per your requirement. Okay. We go through the hub. So hub is known intelligent devices, and it has a less ban uh, benefits as well. What about the switch? Switch is also the same like the hub. It has also the ports, but it has a larger number of ports than that of the hub and do not share the bandwidth that means each port is capable of containing a particular uh, size of bandwidth that means if this is a 10 mbps then this will be the 10 mbps or you can increase or decrease the bandwidth or the speed of these ports because you can configure the switch and here also it is also the same function that you will connect the devices together like in such a way and what will happen is that uh, switch also do the broadcast in a very fast session that means whenever the switch will be unknown or the, whenever you connect the devices and then uh, if these devices uh, send request to these devices then first of all for the uh, first time it this switch will broadcast that message or the dash request to all other devices and after uh, sending that broadcast whenever the particular devices will say I am the person that A is sending the request then it will store the other it will create a table which has a complete information about this port number and the associated MAC address of this PC and as well as of this port number to the associated MAC address. So from the next time if the A send the message to B then it will not send any message or the it will not broadcast to any other devices it will directly send the message to the B. So switch is the uh, like useful or the benefit one benefited one and there is the another that is the bridge before the switch bridge also the same term as the switch bridge is software based whereas the switch is in hardware based and bridge has the less number of ports than that of switch simply we can say that bridge also has a switch another thing is a router here in switch you can make the connection within an organization that means within a single network or within a LAN network but what about you have to make the connection between the different network this is a complete LAN one and this is a LAN two here also you will have a switch no worries because this is also a LAN network you will connect the devices together and if you have to make the connection between these device uh, these all the devices with this network then what you can do is that you will have to set up a router and make the communication between them because router is capable of making the uh, like routing or the between the different networks in further classes we will go through the each and every technologies regarding the switch routers and we will do the configuration as well but just here you have to understand is that 
router is capable of making the communication between the different lane networks whereas the switch is capable of making the communication within a lane network. Here switch has the two types of switch that is completely L2 switch and L3 switch. We haven't read through the OSM model so we don't know about the layers of the um, each layer but users understand is that L2 is completely based on the lane network communication it don't uh, do any source of routing whereas the L3 switch is capable of functioning the both of this as a switch as a router actually so uh, if you want the device to have the function of both of these devices then you can afford or you can go through the layer 3 switch here let us go through the repeater repeater is normally when uh, like normally the cables or the ethernet cable has the capability of 100 100 meter to transfer the other uh, to transfer the data over the 100 meter only that means you can make the connection between the 100 meter only what about you have to make the connection um, la um, like larger than that of 100 meter larger distance than that of the 100 meter then you can use the repeater over here and make the communication like uh, uh, suppose this is a uh, building of an organization and it has this same uh, organization's building on the other side and you have to make the communication between them other you have to connect between them then you can use the uh, repeater in the middle what the repeater does is that it will just strengthen the signal that means the signal sent by um, sent from uh, like her will be just amplified and then it will be strengthened and then sent to the, the devices so the function of just uh, repeater is to amplify the signals uh, let us go to the modem modem is normally as the modulator and the demodulator um, you can uh, you may have seen like um, normally your telecommunication telecom will have if you have the already provided a, a link for your calls or the analog calls analog means the voice calls only and in further way you also want to transfer the data data means digital signals as well then you can use the uh, then they will use the modem over here that will help to convert the digital signal into analog and analog to the digital signal that's it and last one is the firewall uh, firewall and there are other, other devices as well Firewall is normally a security devices. Yeah, obviously you will make the connection between the different devices, between the different lane network. But what about you want to filter your traffic? Traffic means you want to filter your packets. That means you don't want, you want to block some sites. You don't want to go, like if your staffs are using like, um, what you can say is that you don't want the other traffic to enter in your network. Then you can use the firewall over here and then you can block or allow them through it or the normally you can filter the uh, traffic over your network so it is mostly deals uh, in the security classes the last one here is the some uh, data and network symbols over here as in above uh, hope you understand this uh, some of the topics